Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Developing a Proper Worldview. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, all you're going to get is the introduction. Um, you're going to have to follow the link that I'll provide down in the, uh, the uh, description, uh, the link to my Rumble account, and you can watch the full video there. Um, I attempted to upload last uh, the last episode, which would have been number 88, um, onto YouTube, and once again, it got taken down. Um, they've taken down so many videos now that it's just ridiculous. I'm not even going to attempt to upload them anymore. I thought, so I, 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 for a while there, I went exclusively to Rumble um, for a few episodes, and then I thought, you know what, I'm going to try to upload them on YouTube, and I'll just be really cautious about what I say, and I'll, I'll try to avoid um, the keywords that seem to, to trigger uh, the censors, but um, apparently I didn't do a good enough job, or um, even if I avoid the words, some of the documentaries will say things, and I guess they're taking those down, which I thought fair use um, said that you know, if, if you're providing commentary on a news source, um, which is what we're doing, that everything's fair game, but um, YouTube is its own private entity, so I guess they can do whatever they want, but <clears throat> so I, I'm no longer going to upload the videos on YouTube, um, so all you're going to get is this introduction. Uh, this is the introduction for episode number 89. Um, we're currently in the midst of of um, is it part six? I can't remember. We did part one was um, the gospel because while we are looking at a geolo geopolitical issue, this is a spiritual issue um, foundationally. Like like the the global conspiracy, uh, the new world order is a biblical issue. The Bible tells us that in the last days uh, there will be a one world government, at least that's how I read it. Um, you know, do your own reading, come to your own conclusions, but when I read uh, things like Psalm 2 and Revelation 13, um, I see that the scriptures tell me that God has allowed Satan to be the power of this world, the God, little g of this world, and that he rules the kingdoms. And um, I, I believe that that's not just referring to nations, but all centers of power, uh, whether that's in finance or government or media or entertainment, whatever the case, if there's a power structure, an influence on the world, um, it belongs to Satan. And we know that, 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 that there's, a, there's a, a battle between spiritual and flesh, between spirit and world, and the world... Um, you know, the, the Bible says friendship with the world is enmity with God because the world is controlled by Satan and he gives power structures. He gives power um, to those that uh, serve him. And the Bible tells us that in the last days, it's all going to come together in a one world government um, with, with Lucifer at the top, with Satan at the top. Uh, persecuting Christians, persecuting God, persecuting uh, the Holy Scriptures, trying to rid this world of the control that God has through conscience. We're, we're all aware of, of right and wrong, and, and that's why darkness hates the light, because we expose it. We, we tell people what their conscience is already telling them. We reveal that to them by saying, hey, this is right, this is wrong. And they rebel against that because the flesh wants to do wrong. The flesh wants to do what it wants to do. So we have this world conspiracy that's a satanic conspiracy. And, and part one, we looked at that with um, the gospel. And then part two, uh, we looked at creation versus evolution. Uh, let me just try to look at this here. Because that that's really the one of the, the key building blocks for the satanic conspiracy is to deceive people into believing that life spontaneously generated, that there's no creator. And if you buy into that, then of course you're going to discredit the scriptures. Uh, because when you read the scriptures, there's genealogies that give a, a, a timeline and tell us that Adam and Eve were the very beginning of creation. And you can add up all, all the their children. It's, we have a direct uh, lineage from Adam to Jesus. 
and we know Jesus lived 2,000 years ago approximately and so we can add all that up and we get about 6,500 years that doesn't fit the evolutionary scheme and so the devil has um, planted this this deception this pseudoscience to deceive people on an intellectual level so that they can ignore their conscience and they can say uh, you know oh no no the the universe is billions of years old and planets and, and earth and all that nonsense but so that's what we looked at in part two and then part three we looked at the American Empire um, because I personally personally believe that um, America's the driving force behind the New World Order system that America's the military might uh, the power, the satanic power that is establishing this worldwide kingdom. Um, so we looked at that, and then part four, we looked at the 9-11 conspiracy, uh, because that's what really opened my eyes to this whole thing, and I believe that was kind of um, um, an acceleration of, of the New World Order, uh, which had been building piecemeal uh, for centuries. But at, at, on September 11, 2001, I think it took a giant leap forward and, and put us into the end game, so to speak. And part five, we looked at martial law, uh, one of the means by which this system will control. And, um, and now we're in the midst of part six, which I titled New World Order, uh, which again is just kind of a generalization because the whole thing is the New World Order scheme. Uh, but we just recently finished uh, the end game documentary. Um, which is phenomenal and we're we're in a really exciting part of this series because like the next like the next eight or so documentaries are just spectacular really well done um, full of tons of, of just great information and we're about to start one uh, called the Obama deception uh, was put out back during um, the Obama presidency, um, but it's it, although it is focused on Obama, there's a ton of great New World Order information in it, and so that's why we're going to watch it. Um, but again, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, this is going to be the end. You'll have to click on the link and go to Rumble to finish the video. Uh, so I'll stop right there.